one of the things that I discovered when this uh, family first took me in was they took me out of the ghetto, but I didn't take myself out of the ghetto. You know, and so sometimes you can be stuck in a rut. You can be stuck um, in a place in your mind, even though you're no longer physically there. And that was the kind of experience that I was having uh, in the first few months I was in Toronto, despite living in this great big mansion, as far as I was concerned, on the same street as Casa Loma. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, here I am uh, with waking up every day with depressing thoughts, waking up every day with images and views of, um, you know, the, the ghetto that I grew up in. And I couldn't respond to the circumstances of my newfound environment. And I was exhausted every day I'd wake up because I had so many negative thoughts in my head. And by the time my foot hit the floor in the morning, um, I might as well have stayed in bed. That's how drained I was. And so I realized soon after, a few months after getting there, that I needed to change my way of thinking. I needed to change my thought pattern. Mm -hmm. I needed to change my focus. And so I made myself a promise that the very next day when I woke up, I was going to flip the coin, and instead of thinking of something negative, I was going to replace everything negative that I thought about with something positive. And I began to adopt that philosophy, every negative thought, replace it with a positive thought in the morning. And before you know it, you know, Kirsty, after about two or three weeks of doing that, I soon discovered that I was... Uh, waking up with more positive thoughts in my head, more energized, uh, renewed almost from having had a proper sleep that didn't get drained the moment mm -hmm. I woke up. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I began to feel better. I think I began to look better, you know, I began to dress better, I began to uh, change my whole focus and it changed uh, my entire being, really.